Okay, I don't play guitar that well. I don't read notes or anything like that. I don't. I really don't. I tried a long time ago, but I failed. <laughs> All right. Hello everyone. Today I'm going to do a tutorial for this look and with regards to my new palette that I just bought last week. And this is the L'Oreal La Palette number two, nude. They also have the number one, but I didn't buy it just because I'm debating on whether to buy that or the Coastal Sense Reveal number one palette. So let's go ahead and start the tutorial. I'm going to add in my Rimmel Clean Finish Matte Foundation in the shade of Natural Beige. And my brush is the Smooth Coverage Foundation Brush by Essential Tools. Prior to applying my foundation, I already used a facial moisturizer and a primer. Alright, so now I'm going to use my BB Cream by Tony Moly. They're a lightest shade for my under eye highlight. An inverted triangle shape is necessary on this when applying highlights because this method, I think it adds that glow young looking effect on your face. For my eyeshadow, this is my Smashbox Photo Finish Hydrating Gel. I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little amount onto my entire eyelids area. Here's my Bare Minerals Powder in the shade of Medium Dark Brown and my Angle Brow Brush. I really don't have that much hairs on my brows obviously, but this is a perfect color for me. It complements my skin tone as well as my hair. Over here, I'm using my Bobbi Brown Concealer and my Concealer Flat Brush and I'm going to smoothen the edges of my brows. So we still need to use this brow brush to soften and blend our eyebrows color. I'm going to add in my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade of Yogurt and this will be my base for my eyeshadows. Using my eyeshadow brush, I'm going to apply this creamy color all over my lids and this is from my L'Oreal palette. With the same palette, I'm going to use my NARS blending brush in the number 12 and add a shade of tan color. I'm just gonna go apply this to my outer and upper crease. Alright, now I have my angled brush here. I actually bought this in Philippines at Landmark Department Store and I love, love this brush. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the light plummy color and directly apply it onto my crease. I'm also creating a slight V shape onto the end of my eyelids. Using my blending brush, I'm gonna go ahead and apply this nude beige color Stay Matte from Rimmel and add it up onto my brow bone. This softens all the eyeshadow that we applied on our eyelids. I'm going to use again my NARS number no. 12 blending brush and add a bit of that tan shade onto my lower lash line. I'm just sweeping it halfway to create a bigger eye shape. I'm going to add some shimmer onto my tear duct and here I'm using the NYX Yogurt Jumbo Eye Pencil. I have here again my Bobbi Brown Concealer and my Concealer Brush. I'm just cleaning up the sides of my eyes and kind of, kind of like removing some excess eyeshadow colors on the side. 
Here's my Wet n Wild eyeliner pencil in the shade of black and I'm going to line my upper lash line starting from the outer corner of my lash line and then going towards the inner corner of my lash line. I'd like to use today my Wet n Wild Black Eyeliner Pencil and line my lower lash line halfway. It kind of adds a bit of that smoky effect as well. For this look, I'm going to use a false eyelashes that I got from this Japanese store. And I really like this lashes. It's very lightweight and it really sticks fast onto your lash line. Of course, depending on the glue or adhesive glue that you're using. Next that I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes. I'm also going to use my Physicians Formula Eye Boost Instant Lash Extensions. Uh, the mascara one and I'm going to dab it onto my upper and lower lashes. For an overall matte finish, I'm gonna go ahead and use this Rimmel Matte Finish Foundation or powder and I'm just gonna of course apply this onto my T-zone and all the areas that need to be matte. For my blush, I'm gonna use my NYX Matte Bronzer Deep Tan Shade. I love this product and I've been using it as my initial blush. Here is my new Hickory blush that Ipsy resent me because the first one got broken. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on into my apple of my cheek. This is the Physicians Formula Bronzing uh, Powder. I'm gonna go ahead and use the upper shades, which are the lightest shade of this palette. And I'm gonna go ahead and add this up onto my upper cheeks or just right under the eyes. Over here, I'm just gonna go ahead and use my NYX Contour Matte Palette in the shade of Dark Tan for a subtle contour on my nose. So we're almost done with this makeup. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply my Maybelline Lust for Blush Matte Lipstick. you enjoyed my tutorial if you like the shades that you're um, seeing right now go ahead and check out this L'Oreal the palette number two this is really great um all I can say is that they're highly pigmented and this is affordable it's like around $15 um, I bought this online and you can go ahead and check out the price on your retail stores um, drug stores wherever but all I can say is that I do love this palette this is definitely a good buy please don't forget to like this video hit the thumbs up button subscribe if you haven't so uh, that's all everyone I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on my next makeup tutorial bye